All right, well, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, and today I figured out something. I was putting together a little uh, writing template, so you can see all of my tracks, and you can see that they're color-coded. Um, I like to color-code all of my tracks because, well, it makes it easier to differentiate parts. Uh, the cool thing that I figured out that I could do in Cubase using a color tool is I can actually rename all of my colors. So it normally says like color one, you can see it, still see here I have a bunch of uh, the default names left, uh, but I renamed them. So now all of my drums get this color. Uh, if I've got a piano in there, it gets that color. Synths get that color, acoustics, cleans, rhythms, lead guitars, uh, effects, uh, all that stuff. So how I did that is I go to project colors and all I do is highlight the name and rename them. Simple and easy and effective. Um, now if I wanna save this, uh, normally this would only be used and only be saved for that project. So if I go to options and then I go save current set as program defaults. Click on that, click OK. And now all of these colors should be saved and brought up for the rest of my time using Cubase. And then I can go through it again and, and add more colors. Uh, using a pin new color and then click on the color wheel and go there rename that to whatever I want it to be um, and if I have more tracks like more than just guitars and bass and drums um, I can go ahead and rename those and still save current set so that has been my Cubase tip for you today thank you very much thanks for watching